in pursuit of its vision to be a globally recognized research university and fulfilling its mission to develop lifelong learners. West Visaya State University is one of the premier institutions in delivering the best quality education in Western Visayas. Inculcating its core values of excellence, creativity and innovation, and service, West Visaya State University prides itself to have one of the prolific IT education programs in Western Visayas. Let us introduce you to one of the flagship programs of the College of Information and Communications Technology, the Bachelor of Science in Information Systems. Join us and let's examine how the program produces its globally competitive, dynamic, innovative, and proactive graduates. The BSIS program was formerly Bachelor of Science in Information Management or BSIM and was first offered under the College of Communications in 1998. This was renamed as BSIS in 2007 and produced the first graduate with a BSIS degree in 2011. The current BSIS curriculum is in conformance of the CHED minimum standard requirements and is embedded with fundamental, domain-specific, and technical IS competencies. The BSIS curriculum has undergone stringent review process practiced in the university with participation from different stakeholders and scrutinized by experts, all to ensure that the graduates will produce are well-equipped with skills and knowledge that the industry and the employment arena is looking for. Furthermore, the rigid and intensive but inclusive admission process gives equal opportunities to highly qualified students. The curriculum offers three specialization tracks, namely Business Analytics, Business Applications Development, and Service Management Program, where students are guided for specific IS career paths through a specialization aptitude examination. The curriculum extensively trains students to be highly competitive individuals with a holistic well-being as evident by awards received in various academic and extracurricular competitions and activities. Teaching and learning in the BSIS curriculum with a strong faculty roster is strengthened through integration of innovative teaching strategies and tools that set support our industry-ready BSIS graduates. This includes learning management systems, coursewares, and social media platforms. The active membership and partnership with professional ICT organizations has also led to the inclusion of industry-utilized applications in the delivery of instruction for the BSIS program. Moreover, forged linkages and consortia with international academic institutions has provided opportunities for student exchange, attendance to conferences, symposia, and strengthening of the college faculty profile through pursuance of advanced degrees and research collaborations. The BSIS curriculum and the college in general embraces an intensive undergraduate research program that instill the value of innovation and solution creation. The undergraduate research works of the BSIS program with the support of the college has been presented in international conferences and published in reputable journals cited by many other researchers. Since the first graduates of the BSIS degree in 2011, up to the last graduates before the K-12 transition in 2019, the college has produced 531 strong and technology-ready competent graduates. From the years 2015 to 2019, the program has produced 32 graduates with Latin honors, 28 cum laude, and 4 magna cum laude.
According to the Flexi-based Employability Tracking of the College, for the graduates from 2015 to 2019, an average of 93.97% is recorded as employed, which was tracked through an alumni survey and searched from various sources like LinkedIn, Facebook profile, and company profiles. Furthermore, a detailed tracer study of graduates' employability of batches 2011 to 2019 were conducted from April to May 2022. The tracer study revealed an almost similar employability rate with the Prexy tracking at 91% and where most of the unemployed are either pursuing advanced degrees or waiting for deployment to work. Most of the graduates' present occupation are office staff, mostly in government offices, and is followed by ICT-related jobs such as analyst, which includes quality analyst, fraud analyst, data analyst, business analyst, and IT support jobs. Others are employed as customer service representatives, developers or programmers, graphics designers, instructors, teachers, and HR-related functions. Majority are permanently employed and most are in private companies, especially from leading ICT industry companies like Accenture, Reed Elsevier, Asurion, Unilever, Ecotrend, Teletech, Paymongo, Crawford, and more. The study also shows that some are employed with 100,000 to 200,000 pesos and above paid. The WBSU CICP BSIS graduates are sought after by employers as it is also evident from the study that most of the graduates has been employed after just one to three months from graduation. Hi, my name is Cyril Loritizo, a BSIS graduate, year 2012. Right now, I'm working as a QA Automation Consultant for Adventure Consultancy Solution. So, I, I've been a QA uh, for 9 years and uh, ever since I graduated in CICT, uh, I was able to find a job that is uh, IT related and uh, I continued uh, my career uh, as a software uh, test engineer or QA analyst. Uh, the course that I took in college was uh, the best, one of the best decisions that I made in my life. So, uh, fast forward right now, I'm still in the IT industry and I, I'm enjoying my work as well as the perks of uh, being a uh, employed to a good IT company. My name is Roy Patrick Hencheneo and I'm a graduate of BSIS. Uh, the purpose of filming this um, video is to answer two particular questions. First question is what were the learnings from CICT BSIS program that helped you with your career? And the next question is how did uh, WVSU CICT help you as an ICT professional? The first question for me um, it's like a progression of the, the learning starting when you were in first year up to your fourth year in college. Um, but one particular subject that uh, I cherish the most 
is about business processes. Uh, it was taught by Sir Havison, if I, if I still remember the name. And um, with the, the first question, um, subjects like database management, introduction to IS, um, graphics design, typography, filmmaking, photography, were some of the subjects that are very important to me when I was in college. So it really, those subjects really helped me to be prepared with my, my current role. So the second question that I would like to answer is how did WVSU CICT help you as an ICT professional? Uh, as you all know, uh, W. VSU is a well-known university in the Philippines. Um, it already had uh, established um, some standards for uh, in fields like medicine, um, t teaching, nursing, etc. So I think CICT is catching up with that. And I'm happy that my boss told me that they were happy with my performance. So it's, an, it's a testament that the ICT department of CICT is, is actually working and progressing. I believe that excellence exists in the performance and even more in the preparation. Thus, my alma mater has been an integral part of shaping me to become the person I am right now. I am Fire Officer Juan Rodney Asensio Adorio, currently working with the Bureau of Fire Protection and temporarily assigned at the Office of Regional Director, BFP6 Public Information Unit. The Information Systems Department has been really helpful with many knowledgeable professors, and the course is also designed in a magnificent way with a blend of subject lectures and laboratories that help me become versatile to whatever work I am in. The college laboratories and equipment available help us coalesce the theory we learn in class with everyday problems to form practical solutions. Also, the college given us the opportunity and exposed each and one of us to different companies and institutions. Fortunately, I got the opportunity to do my internship at Knowledge Channel Foundation Incorporation as a graphic artist. That helped me highly develop my skills that are very efficacious to my career as a fire officer. I am utilized to lay out, create, and manage social media postings of the institution I am in right now. I owe this large part of my education to WBSU College of Information and Communications Technology who encouraged me to explore new horizon in technology and beyond. Thank you and good to see you all. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Joaquin Cachopero. I'm an alumnus of SSI State University uh, College of Information and Communications Technology. So I graduated in 2019 and I took a Bachelor of Science in Information Systems. So right now I'm taking up my Master's in Information Systems at the Te at Technological Institute of the Philippines, Manila. So I took uh, the year 2019, I started my career at Smart Communications Incorporated in Makati. Uh, as a business slash fraud analyst. So after over two years, uh, I decided to uh, explore and I wanted to gain more experience with other uh, uh, industries. So I recently joined Paymongo Philippines Incorporated in PGC as a risk operations analyst. So Paymongo is a, a fintech startup in the Philippines. So CICT's BSIS program helped me a lot in jumpstarting my career with all the learnings, trainings, uh, courses in CICT, and of course, it's excellent professors. So we also attended a lot of conventions uh, and talks that helped us with the, our career. So as a graduate of CICT, my main objective that helped me in my career was to be a part of an organization that fosters professional growth through hands-on learning and acquisition of skills and knowledge relevant to the industry. So uh, CICT's BSIM, BSIS program uh, help help me understand uh, the relevance of technology to a business. So in BSIS, uh, we focus more on business process, project management, and quality systems, systems analysis and design, just to mention a few. So 
overall, I'm really grateful that I was part of the CICT and West Visayas State University. Uh, I want to say uh, thank you to CICT for being the stepping stone of my wonderful journey as a young professional. I will always treasure everything I learned, uh, including the values that made me stronger uh, with all the endeavors that I have faced and I will be facing in the near future. So uh, that's it. Uh, thank you. Thank you, CICT, for uh, letting me speak. So thank you. West Visayas State University is one of the universities in Iloilo that promotes high quality education, produces quality graduates who have skills that are globally competitive and supports diversity in a fast-paced community. In the last five years of working with RETH, I have closely worked with Taga West alumni and specifically graduates of BSIS and BSIT degree. I could say that these people have been very instrumental in contributing to the growth of the company. Taga West team members have exemplary passion in getting their jobs done with quality. They possess quality that are culturally fit in the company's core values and ethical standards. I have seen how these West Visayas State University alumni have grown from one level, climbing their way up to the ladder. Some of these significant employees are Tim Brian Arsenal, a BSIT graduate who started as an operations supervisor and now an operations manager in the risk solutions department. In behalf of REPH, we are looking into more partnership with West Visayas State University in supporting us with the internship offerings and sourcing initiatives that they can be one of our consistent partners in pooling talents for our growing business in Iloilo. This is Anna Zurita, Senior Operations Supervisor, REPH Iloilo. The WBSU College of ICT continues to produce highly employable graduates, both locally and abroad. The present curriculum is further improved, preparing graduates not only for local employment, but also for countries where ICT graduates are likely to be employed. As confirmed by our graduates, ICT-related jobs is a satisfying career and that the BSIS program remains to be relevant and responsive to the needs of the industry.